Abacus problem of the week. Okay, for those of you who might not know, the abacus we're working with is called a Cranmer abacus. And the foundation or method that I'm using is the counting method. I will post some links in the information section below with uh, more information about um, this abacus, this method, and in those links you can learn how to add, learn how to subtract, and learn all the parts of the abacus. Okay, let's get on with the show. Welcome back. Today we're going to work a three-digit by two-digit multiplication problem. And we're going to break this down into its place value components so that uh, we multiply the three digits in the, in the multiple cans first by the ones column in the multiplier and then by the tens column in the multiplier. So our problem today is 430 times 25. And so for your peers who work this on paper, um, the conventional method, um, the standard algorithm will be to multiply the five times the zero, you get zero, the three times the five, you get 15, carry the one, uh, four times five, is 20 plus 1, 21. And then you multiply times the 2 in the tens column. You're going to shift over um, under the 2150 partial product. 2 times 0 is 0 again. Uh, 2 times 3 is 6. And 2 times 4 is 8. Add these values together. 0, 5, 7, 8 plus 2 is 10. So you would get 10,750. Now, that's your standard algorithm. Um, that was the way I learned when I was in school. And more often in mathematics, we're seeing this problem broken down into its component parts so we can understand it a little bit better. So I'm going to show you that. Uh, we're going to uh, match everything up by place value and and this is basically the way we do it on the abacus as well. So to do this, we're going to multiply um, all three digits in the multiple cans by the five. So we have zero times five, and that is zero. Then we have 30 times five, and that's 150. Try to stick with my colors here. I have colored markers that I'm using on the board. And then um, 400 times 5. So 400 times 5 then is 2000. 4 times 5 is 20 with two zeros, 2,000. Once we've done that, we want to multiply by the two in the tenths column, 430 times 20. So first thing we're multiplying is zero, whoops, zero times 20, and that equals zero. And then we're multiplying 30 times 20. I'll do my little trick here. 2 times 3 is 6, and then there are two zeros in the problem. 30 times 20 is 600. I can also multiply 30 times 10 and get 300. Uh, 10 times 2 is 20, so 300 times 2 is 600. Just a little mental math practice as we go. 
and then we have 400 times 20. So 2 times 4 is 8 with three zeros and that's 8,000. So I've multiplied everything and now I need to add these values up. I have 0 plus 0 plus 1 plus 150 plus 600 plus 2,000 plus 8,000. That seems like a really big lot of stuff there. <laughs> but uh, once we add that up, uh, all zeros in the ones column, zero in the ones column. A five in 150, otherwise all zeros in the tens column. So that's a five in the tens. A six and a one in the hundreds column. So that's seven. And then an eight and a two in the thousands column. And so that's 10,000. And so our answer is 10,750. Same answer as when we worked this using the standard algorithm. When we focus on place value using the abacus, we work the problem the same way that students work it on paper. Let's see what that looks like. So when I set the problem with a focus on place value, I'm going to set the first multiplicand in the billions section. So I'm going to set a four in the hundreds column of the billions section. I'm going to set a three in the tens column of the billions section. So I have four, three, zero in the billions section. Not 430 billion, mind you, just 430, and it's set in the billions section. When I set the multiplier, I'm going to do so in the millions section. So I'm going to set 25 in the millions section. That's 2 in the 10 millions place and 5 in the 1 millions place. We're going to multiply, and when I set my answer, I'm going to set it on the far right in the uh, standard place value locations. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, multiply times the 5 and 25. So the first digit I have is the 0 and 430. 0 times 5 is 0, so I will set nothing in the 1's column. 3 in the 10's column, 30 times 5 is 150. So I'll set that over here on the right, 150. And I could set these using the counting method or I can set them directly, whichever is easiest at this point. And then I have a 4 in the hundreds column of 430 times 5. And 400 times 5 is 2,000. So 4 times 5 is 20 with two zeros. So 2,000. So I set a 2 in the thousands column on the far right. Now I can clear my 5. I'm finished with that 5. And now I'm going to move on to the 2 that was in 25. Now I'm left with 20. 20 times 0 is 0, so I'll set nothing in the 1's column. 20 times 30 is 600. 2 times 3 is 6 with two zeros. So I'm going to set that in the 100's column, and I'll use the counting method this time. I'm going to add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 600. And then I will uh, I can go ahead and clear the 3 in 430. I've, finished with that. I'm left with 400 times 20. 400 times 20 is 8,000. 2 times 4 is 8 with three zeros. 8,000. So I'm going to go to my thousands place. I'll use the counting method here too. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then I set the 10 and clear the 9 ones. I've added 8 to, eight to the thousands column. I had a 2 there. So I have now I have 10,000, one in the 10,000s place, uh, zero in the thousands place, 750. 10,750 is the answer, and I can clear my problem. So uh, that's how you do a three-digit by two-digit problem on the abacus and how it matches or aligns with uh, the uh, multiplication that 
print users are doing. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, have a great day.